welcome to Roadrunner News at Oakdale Elementary. We are here to share how Oakdale fifth grade students are teaching the community of the importance of being idle free. Some of our best reporters are going to interview a few students from each class, starting with Mrs. Klein's class. Thank you. I'm with Claire, and she's going to tell us how what she learned during her idle free signs. Well, I learned that. Idling can cause asthma and lung disease and cancer. Be kind of the air that don't idle. Thank you, Mrs. Klein's class. We will be sure to be idle free. Now we will go talk to Mrs. Whitcamp's class. Today we are with Junior from Miss Whitcamp's class. We are going to talk about what she learned while she was making her idle free videos. First, I learned that uh, the average American idles 73 gallons of gas per year. I also learned how to make a video and like write a script. Another thing I learned was uh, that we can do kindness more outside of school instead of just in school. We can be more outgoing with kindness. Thank you. Today we are with Kane, and he is going to tell us what he learned while he was making his idle-free videos. I learned that it's a super horrible thing around the world, and. At first, I thought it was just like, oh, it's not, it's nothing. But then, when I started doing the videos and the skits, and I started doing research, I realized that it could, it happens all the time around the world, and it could cause a lot of bad things like bad air. And Thank you for your time. Today, we are here with Oakley and Ryan. So first we do safety control and we see a lot of cars that are idling and we would like to stop that. And we care about the kids' futures so we contacted our principal and other principals and some companies to help us. And from that we got signs to post in front of our school, stickers to, po to put on cars, and um, stuff posters. like that. Yeah, posters. Hello, fifth grade. What's going on? Well, we have these idle free kits signs that we requested from a business, and so they donated them to us because we requested a kit. And so, and so we're going to hang them up outside, and then uh, we're going to use some of our Valagram money so we can buy some poles to put these outside. Oh, by the way, I'm Asher, okay. and I'm Ryan. Asher and Ryan, that's a great idea. Do and you so have more to tell us? These signs are waterproof, mm -hmm. and um, so they're le they can last us a long time. And Ryan, do you have anything else to tell us about the signs? No. I love that the signs are waterproof and they last a long time. And they say, turn your key, be idle free. Would you guys like to repeat that? What we're saying, it's kind of like a new mantra. Turn your key and be idle free. Well, that's so awesome. I am so appreciative of fifth grade for working on this project to help make the world a better place, right? Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Wow, what great information. Thank you, Mrs. Whitcamp's class. Finally, we will go to see what Miss Bishop's class has to say about being idle free. We are here with Soraya Holm in Mrs. Bishop's class. May you tell us what you did for your Idle Free campaign? Yes. So we did, we wrote a paragraph of 12 sentences. Then um, we wrote pictures of the Idle Lane pictures. And yeah. Can you tell us what you learned during this project? I learned that you parents should not idle when you drop off your kids or leave from school. And yeah. Thank you. We are here with Garrett Ogren in Mrs. Bishop's class. Do you mind telling us what you learned about writing your paragraph? Um, I learned, well, what I learned while writing the paragraph was that it's very, very bad for the environment and especially bad for kids with asthma because they could, they will not be healthy and yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Bishop's class. That was very informative. Thank you for turning into Roadrunner News. Have a great day, y'all. Yeah, turn your key and be idle free.